Actually, both of these reaction releases and uses energy in their process. For your information, the anabolic process such as the protein formation, which is the basic muscle substance, will not occur without the presence of energy. Why is cellular respiration important? Actually, the cellular respiration is carried out to generate the energy that needed by all living things such as human, animals, and plants. Apart from that, the cellular respiration is the oxidation process of molecules through several stages to release energy. And the main substance in this process is glucose. For your information, there is two types of cellular respiration which are anaerobic respiration and aerobic respiration. The next subtopic is 7.2 aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration is the breakdown of glucose involving oxygen to produce chemical energy. Oxygen is used to oxidize glucose to produce carbon dioxide, water, and energy. The aerobic respiration process begins with the glycolysis process. Glycolysis is the breakdown of glucose by enzymes. This process occurs in cytoplasm when glucose molecule is broken down into two pyruvate molecules. The following process occurs in the mitochondrion. Pyruvate produced from glycolysis is then oxidized through a series of reactions to produce carbon dioxide, water, and energy. A large amount of this energy is used to produce adenosine triphosphate ATP molecules. During the glycolysis process, glucose breaks down into pyruvate occurs in cytoplasm. During oxidation of pyruvate, pyruvate will break down into carbon dioxide plus water plus energy that is occurs in the mitochondrion. The aerobic respiration is simplified as follows. ATP molecules are produced when a group of non-organic phosphate is added to adenosine diphosphate ADP. ADP plus phosphate with energy will produce ATP. ATP molecules have weak phosphate links. When the phosphate links on ATP molecules have broken, the energy release is supplied to cells to help us carry out our daily activities. The complete process of glucose oxidation is simplified as follows. Glucose plus oxygen will break down into carbon dioxide, water plus energy. Okay, so now we will continue with the experiment to study aerobic respiration. The materials for this experiment are water, colored liquid, soda lime, living organisms such as cockroach and petroleum jelly. Next, the apparatus, boiling tubes, screw clip, wire goes, 250 ml beaker, capillary tube, ruler, rubber tube, and water bath. This is the apparatus setup to study aerobic respiration process. The procedure are Prepare the apparatus as shown in the figure. Secondly, prepare two boiling tubes labeled A and B. Next, fill both boiling tubes with 10 grams soda lime. Fourth, put the wire gauze 
in the middle of boiling tube A. Next, put a cockroach on the wire gauze in boiling tube A while the boiling tube B is left empty. Next, wipe all connections of the apparatus with petroleum jelly. 7. Close the screw clip and mark the height of the initial level of the colored liquid in the capillary tube for both boiling tubes. Next, leave the apparatus for an hour. Number 9. Measure and record the final height of the colored liquid in both capillary tubes after an hour with a ruler. Lastly, record your observations in the following table. Okay, let's continue with the last subtopic 7.3, Fermentation. Fermentation is the incomplete breakdown of glucose in conditions of limited oxygen or without oxygen. Fermentation is different from aerobic respiration in its metabolic pathway after the glycolysis stage. After glycolysis, the pyruvate produced will undergo either alcohol fermentation or lactic acid fermentation. Alcohol fermentation is the incomplete breakdown of glucose to ethanol, carbon dioxide, and energy. These are examples of alcohol fermentation. The first one is yeast. The released carbon dioxide makes bread dough rice. Next, paddy plants produce plenty of alcohol dehydrogenase enzymes that can break down ethanol molecules into non-toxic carbon dioxide. Lactic acid fermentation. Now let's study about the lactic acid fermentation. Kid. The lactic acid fermentation is the breakdown of glucose into lactic acid and energy. Here is the example form of lactic acid fermentation. Now we are going to explore more about example of milk fermentation to produce yogurt. The bacteria lactobacillus carries out milk fermentation to produce yogurt. Lactobacillus acts on the lactose, makes sugar and turns it into lactic acid. The lactic acid will then coagulate casein make protein to produce yogurt. Lactic acid is the source of a sour taste in yogurt. Here is the process of the producing yogurt. Raw milk is pasteurized and crushed for fat by pressure. It's the homogenization pasteurized process and then cooling. Milk is cooled to about 40 degrees and then mixing. Milk is mixed with a starter. Starter this is a lactic acid bacteria. And then fermentation. It is kept at about 40 degrees which the lactic acid bacteria ferment easily and then cooling. When it is fermented well, it is cooled in order to continue to ferment anymore. And last but not least, yogurt is produced. Now we are going to learn lactic acid in human muscle cells. This process is carried out by the muscle cells during vigorous training. During vigorous training, the rate of oxygen used exceeds the oxygen supplied by the blood circulatory system, especially when we are workout or in exercise. The muscle is in an oxygen deficiency state and is said to undergo oxygen depth. During this process, glucose cannot be break down completely. For each glucose molecule that is broken down, only 2 ATP molecules or 150 kilojoule energy will be produced. And produced lactic acid accumulates until it reaches a level of concentration that can cause fatigue and muscle cramps. Once the vigorous activity stops, the intake of excess oxygen will oxidize the lactic acid into carbon dioxide, water and energy. When all the lactic acid has been expelled, the oxygen depth is repaired. Here is the little bit summary for the subtopic lactic acid fermentation. Fermentation is the process of releasing energy from food molecules by making ATP when there is no oxygen available. Lactic acid fermentation is what occurs in you, me, and other animals. The reason for muscle soreness is building of lactic acid and glucose creates 2 ATP and 2 lactic acid molecules. Uh, this is the simple lactic acid fermentation presentation from me. So let's do experiment. The equipment and ingredients you're going to need for this episode includes multiple bottles, they can be glass or plastic, sugar, yeast, balloons, a funnel, measuring utensils, and warm water. The first step in our experiment is to add all your ingredients into the bottles. Using a funnel, add one package or two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast, now we're going to add the sugar. 
In the first bottle, we're not going to add any sugar. In the second bottle, we're going to add one teaspoon. In the third bottle, two teaspoons. In the fourth bottle, three teaspoons. With all your dry ingredients in the bottles, add one cup of warm water into each bottle. With all the ingredients in your bottle, cover your bottle with your thumb or put the lid back on and give it a gentle mix. With all the ingredients in the bottle, put one balloon on each bottle spout and leave them somewhere warm to sit for an hour. Over the next hour or two, the balloons will gradually grow in size. After a few hours, you'll notice the balloon that was covering the bottle that had the most sugar in it grew to a larger size. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. Yeast is a fungus, and there are about 160 known species of yeast. Yeast is very small. One gram holds around 25 million cells and has been used for thousands of years to help bread rise. But how does a fungus help bread rise? It has to do with what yeast eats, how they metabolize that food, and what waste products are released. Yeast feeds on sugars and starches. When the yeast consumes the sugar in our bottle, it breaks it down to be used as energy. But like all living beings, waste products are produced when metabolizing food. When the yeast metabolizes the sugar, the waste produced is carbon dioxide gas and ethanol. The carbon dioxide gas floats out of the liquid into the bottle, producing bubbles, and eventually floating up into the balloon. As the yeast consumes more sugar and produces more carbon dioxide, the pressure inside the bottle and balloon increases. This pressure presses on the walls of the balloon, causing it to expand and grow. The equation for this reaction looks like this. The reactant sugar, sucrose, is on the left, and the products, ethanol and carbon dioxide, are on the right. So now I will explain the differences between aerobic respiration and fermentation. The first difference is is for aerobic respiration the breakdown process of glucose is completed in the presence of oxygen for fermentation the breakdown process of glucose is incomplete without oxygen or in limited oxygen conditions next aerobic respiration occurs in cytoplasm and mitochondria for fermentation occurs in cytoplasm only The third difference is between aerobic respiration and fermentation. Aerobic respiration produces water, fermentation does not produce water. The fourth difference is aerobic respiration, glucose is oxidized completely into carbon dioxide and water. Fermentation, glucose is not oxidized completely into ethanol and carbon dioxide or lactic acid. The last difference is in aerobic respiration, one molecule of glucose generates 2898 kJ of energy. In fermentation, one molecule of glucose generates 210 kJ for alcoholic fermentation or 150 kJ for lactic acid fermentation of energy. Similarities and differences between fermentation and aerobic respiration. So, let's go through with all of it. Firstly, the breakdown process of glucose and its conversion to chemical energy. Secondly, the process begins for aerobic expression and fermentation in the cytoplasm. Thirdly, both of it occurs in yeast, bacteria, animals, and plants. And next, both of the aerobic expression and fermentation produces chemical energy in the form of ATP. And the last, the process begins with glycolysis when glucose is converted to pyruvate. Thank you, Kai. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.